Hey, what's up? Hey, yo, you listen. I wasn't even really gonna even speak on this um, because most cats in my position wouldn't even speak on it. But I'm gonna speak on it because <clears throat> I don't know. I'm in, I'm in the mind frame right now that a lot of things that happen in your life is meant to be spoke on, so somebody else can get something from it. So I'm in Oakland today, y'all know, four sold out shows, and I just come off stage not even five minutes ago. Um, when I got down to Oakland. You know, I pulled up to this spot. Again, another place I wasn't supposed to be. Pulled up to a spot, went inside, and saw some cats blew up and basically um, bust the windows out the thing and, like, snatched my little book bag. It's like 120000 worth of jewelry in there, my computer and my ID, passport, credit cards, all that shit. And, of course, you know, I was upset by the shit. You know, um, but but I'm present. You know what I'm saying? I'm always present. So the, the shit that I want to do, I just start thinking like that shit could have went all the way left. I was somewhere I shouldn't even have been. That shit could have went all the way left. Like I could have had that shit on me, and them niggas could have came in like the one homie and 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 just you know took it. Like you know what I'm saying? Or tried to anyway. And and um yeah, and I thought about this shit, and just weird feelings came over me, man. It's like. You know, who, who, with all this shit that we be doing out here, who the fuck is we trying to impress or trying to convince that, you know, we still out here about that life? Because I know I'm not. I used to be, but I'm, I'm really not. I'm not out here with, with bangers no more on the block and all that shit, man. Um, and I just really wanted to share this because it might be somebody that got their foot straddling right now that, that's still trying to be something. You know what I'm saying? That that they're not anymore. And it ain't, it ain't a bad thing not to be a certain way because that's called growth. In order to be something else, you have to let something else go, man. So to the little niggas that, you know, took the little shit or whatever, you know, I, I even, honestly, it's going to trip y'all out. But I even, when I thought about, you know, them grabbing my little jewelry case and opening that shit up and, and just being like, damn, like 120 bands, I kind of got kind of happy because I like to see little niggas excited. Like, I know that's weird, man, but... I did, man. Um, you know, big. I would like my computer back, though. Damn, you, you can't even do nothing with it. I mean, it's locked. You can't do nothing with it, man. Um, but yeah, man. I, I just thought I'd share this because there's somebody that's straddling the fence right now, man. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't gotta feel no kind of way about growth, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely just trying to grow, man. I'm, I'm in a great position in my life, and you gotta respect the position that you're in, man. And you gotta respect the position that other cash is in. Because in reality, a lot of those cats that want to be you can never even be you. They can't fit your shoes. But yet you still trying to wear their shoes and your shoes too, man. It ain't going to work, man. I ain't never saw. I I just saw a cat do a lot of things, but I ain't never saw no cat with four shoes on. Two shoes on each foot. I ain't never saw it, man. She got Life Jennings, Oakland. Three more shows. One more tonight. Two more jury lists. Except for this little thing that I had on. You know, she got Life Jennings, man. Appreciate all the love. Everybody that came and bought tickets. First show was great. Second show is coming, man. Call me, man. Life. It's Bryce Davis on the check in. And shout out to Life Jennings for keeping it 100. You know, recently admitted to being robbed while out in Oakland. You know, like he said, this is something that he doesn't have to talk about, but decided he's going to anyway. Maybe somebody learned something from it. And you can tell by his demeanor that he's not too phased by it. I mean, obviously, I'm sure he's a little upset about it, but, you know, he's not too shook up about it. He didn't go online and start typing out, you know, some emotional response about how life ain't fair and all oh, these bums jack me, blah, blah, blah. Nah, he's being a G about it. He knows what goes around, comes around, you know, because at some point of his life, he's the one doing the same thing. In case y'all don't know, Life Jennings did like 10 years straight in the box, you know, uh, you can check out his Vlad TV interview when he goes in a little bit of detail. But, you know, he understands that comes with the game and he was a part of the game. And I feel like if you've been in a part of the game, then you know what I'm talking about. At some point, you kind of expect it to come back. And when it does, you know, it is what it is. You know, we ain't crying about it. We understand things come back full circle and, you know, just got to move smarter. You know, that's what life's about. Learning from your mistakes, trusting your gut. When your gut tells you not to be somewhere and you don't listen to it and something happens to you, then you just be like, 
oh yeah, I knew better. And when something happens to you, you ain't even phased by it. You're like, man, I knew better. So, you know, when it happens, it happens. You know, ain't no crying about it. You know, just gotta keep your head up and keep moving forward. You know, so I respect the way he handled it and I respect him putting the message out. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.